Okay, everyone. After some time passes, Monica calls out to the club room. Why don't we share our poems now? Before I know it, everything is back to normal. Everyone goes to retrieve their poems, and I do the same. I make eye contact with Monica, and she smiles at me. I wonder what she was talking about with Sayori. Who should we pick first? I think... Love you too. Poof. I do appreciate all of you guys that do watch, by the way. I feel like this is not entertaining at all for you. <laughs> and I'm just waiting for you guys to say, Hey, stop doing the fucking white girl voice. But that's not gonna stop because you are part of Rocket Tech and this is gonna be a reoccurring thing until I get fucking Deadly Premonition working. But yeah. Let's go with Sayori. I feel like I'm watching anime again and it's fucking making me happy. Like, legit, making me so damn happy. This is your best one so far. It's really, really nice, Richie. Uh, thanks. Mm-hmm. Um... Sayori? You've been a little quiet today. Is everything all right? Uh, eh? Of course! <laughs> everything is fine. Maybe I'm just a little tired today. <laughs> Do you want a nap or something? No, that's silly. Don't worry about me, okay? I only want to see smiles on your face. Well, all right. Uh, hey, Richie? I'm still a little surprised. I really thought that you would try writing your poems like the way Yuri does. Or even Natsuki. But in the end... Yeah? I guess you're the one who likes this one the most. Why? Why did the music stop? You don't want to get closer with everyone else. Wait. Of course I do. But that doesn't mean I need to try so hard to impress them. I, I still understand you the most, Sayori. I know you have to sometimes put up with me. And I have to sometimes put up with you. But we have a wavelength of, or something. And this is how the poem came out. Sometimes it feels like you're the only exciting thing in my life. So sometimes it's just easier to write when thinking about you. Sayori? Uh, no. Richie? I don't deserve this. I'm starting to get a little bit of something here. You're too nice to me. Why are you doing this? Sayori has trouble keeping her voice steady. All of a sudden. If you had fun with everyone else instead, this would be so much easier. Sayori! I glance around the room to make sure nobody has noticed this. Sayori. I've probably never said this before, but I don't understand what you're feeling right now. Tell me what will ch Tell me what will cheer you up. Sayori shakes her head. She sniffles and keeps shaking her head. Finally, she gathers herself and puts on a smile. It's nothing, Richie. It's just a little rain cloud. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that. <laughs> I promise it won't happen again. Just smiles from everyone, okay? That's all that matters. Go play with everyone else. I'm gonna go home a little bit early today. Sayori. 
Tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Before I could say anything else, Sayori cheerfully walks out of the classroom, humming to herself. Feelings! Yuri. Well done, Richie. You've definitely improved your riding over the course of these few days. Has my advice been helpful to you? Yeah, definitely. I'm glad. Sharing our riding like this, it's a lot more fun and rewarding than I anticipated. I need to remember to thank Monica. I think we all felt a little awkward at first, but now it seems like everyone is enjoying sharing their writing and seeing what others think. I guess I can't really disagree. I was afraid this whole thing would be a chore, but it's a great way for me to spend some personal time with all the girls in the club. But it's been fun getting to know everyone and their writing. And I guess doing some writing myself. Well, have you learned anything about yourself, Richie? Eh? Well, you know how I like to say that writing is a very personal way to get in touch with yourself. In the end, it doesn't matter if you're a good writer or a bad writer. And even my opinions are just opinions, you know? As always, I believe what's most important is exploring and discovering yourself. That's comforting. I'm kind of afraid of disappointing you in some way or another. Eh? Uh, why me? Well, you're always sophisticated with your writing and have the most advice to share. Is that so? Yuri thinks for a good minute. That must be terrible. Eh? For me to have become someone whose opinion is fearsome? How unlikable of me. Yuri, it's not as bad as you're making it sound in your head. I just meant that I respect your opinion. I see. I'm sorry that I always overthink and come to those sorts of conclusions. I'm just a little too used to it. Overthinking? Being disliked. Yuri. What? What am I saying? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bring that up. Let's let's move on. Alright. Do you want to share your poem now? Okay. Here. Beach. A marvel millions of years in the making. Where the womb of Earth chaotically meets the surface. Under a clear blue sky, an expanse of bliss, but beneath gray rolling clouds, an endless enigma. The easiest, the easiest world to get lost in is one where everything can be found. One can only build a sandcastle where the sand is wet, but where the sand is wet, the tide comes. Will it gently lick at your foundations until you give in? <laughs> or will a sudden wave send you crashing down in the blink of an eye. Either way, the outcome is the same. Yet we still build sandcastles. I stand where the form wraps around my ankles. Foam wraps around my ankles. Where my toes squish into the sand. The salt, salty air is the th therapeutic. The salty air is therapeutic. The breeze is gentle yet powerful. I sink my toes into the ultimate boundary line tempted by the foamy tendrils. Turn back, and I abandon my peace to a road at the shore. Drift forward, and I return to Earth forevermore. Yep. 
Um, let's see what you guys are saying. Punch the screen? Why would I punch the screen? I'm aware that the beach is kind of an inane thing to write about, but I did my best to take a metaphorical approach to it. You say that like you didn't even want to write about it. Oh, you haven't heard? After yesterday, Natsuki and I, well, it was amusing that we wrote about something similar in such different ways. So Natsuki wanted us to write about the same topics as each other again. I suppose to better compare the differences in our writing styles or thought processes. Anyway, it was her idea. Knowing her, it's no surprise that she'd want to do something like that. She probably just wants to show off. It's not like I have a particular interest in her writing style. I just went with her request. But, well, I suppose it's not so bad writing about something simple on occasion. It can be refreshing, you know? It's good for me to calm my thoughts once in a while. Yeah, I think I, can, I, I agree. Thanks for sharing. How was your ring? Who should be next? Natsuki! Huh? This one's alright. Alright? Well, yeah. About as good as yesterday's, anyway. I see what you're going for, but it's just not really my style. I mean, that's fine. I'm mostly just glad that you're trying a little bit. Well, of course I'm at least trying. Why are you so emotionally invested in my poems anyway? Isn't that more of a compliment to me? Eh? N no! Gross! Gross. Gross. It's not like I care. It's just that one of us is in this club as to make sure you're not slacking off. Really? Well, what if you ended up just scaring me away? That's, um, it's not like you would actually do that. Yeah, you're right. It's kind of fun to hang out here, even if I have to put up with you. Yeah. That's... Oh, man. Natsuki's elbow connects with my stomach. Oh, maybe I won't mind scaring you away after all. It was just joking. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> Don't worry, I was too. <laughs> How the hell do you call that a joke? That seriously hurt. Well... Maybe it was funny to her. Well, maybe it was funny to her. The fuck is that, Platinum? M Spade. I don't know what that is. Oh. Monica, Say Sayori, Yuri, and that's okay. I get it now. I guess that I guess that's kind of the point. I should really just watch my mouth around Natsuki. Anyway... Natsuki... Natsuki holds her poem out to me like nothing even happened. There we go. Hey, Anna. You've been missing a lot of bad shit. I'll be a beach, your mind is so full of troubles and fears That diminished your wonder over the years But today I have a special place, a beach for us to go A shore reaching beyond your sight A sea that sparkles with brilliant light The walls in your mind will melt away before the sunny glow I'll be the beach that washes your worries away I'll be the beach that you daydream about each day 
I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap In a way thought had left you long ago Let's bury your heavy thoughts in a pile of sand Bathe in sunbeams and hold my hand Wash your insecurities in the salty sea And let me see you shine Let's leave your memories in a footprint trail Set you free in my windy sail And remember the reasons you're wonderful When you press your lips to mine I'll be the beach that washes your worries away I'll be the beach that you daydream about each day I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap In a way you thought had left you long ago but if you let me by your side Your own beach, your own escape You'll learn to love yourself again But if you let me by your side Your own beach, your own escape You'll learn to love yourself again Let's leave your memories in a footprint trail Set your free in my Windy sail And remember the reasons you're wonderful When you Press your lips to mine I'll be the beach that washes your worries away I'll be the beach that you they dream about each day I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought had left you long ago But if you let me by your side Your own beach, your own escape You'll learn to love yourself again Done! Yeah! I felt like I keep writing about negative things, so I wanted to write something with a nice message for once. Besides, the beach is awesome. Kind of hard to write anything negative about the beach. Well, your mistake on it was a little more solemn. Well, that's... Uh... What? Jeez, she better not have said anything bad about mine. After all, she was the one who wanted us to write about the same topic. Ugh, you can really see her doing that too. Making us write about a simple topic, then trying to impress me by coming up with something all fancy. Well, it's not like I care. I just did it anyway. I mean, I guess mine ended up being kind of metaphorical, too. But there's nothing wrong with doing that once in a while. At the very least, it was good practice. <sighs> Ooh, water. Excuse me. But for the last four and a half hours, I've been nothing but awesome, okay? Ooh. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I'll be your dreams. 
I don't remember the fucking words. But let's just fucking pretend like we know what we remember when we sing this song. Just snap your fingers and just awkwardly look at the camera. So like, it's uncomfortable. And you're just questioning why you're even watching me. I'll be your savior. I'll be that awkward bitch you're looking at. I'll be that awkward streamer that you're watching and second guessing your life. I don't know what else to sing about except things. Let's see what Monica has in store for us. And that's enough singing. <laughs> Hi, Richie. Oh, wait, it's kind of flamboyant. Monica! Hi, Richie. Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform at the festival? Well, being in this club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people? I'll have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. It would also make me happy to see. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look at today's poem. Sure. I let Monica take the poem I'm holding in my hands. Hmm. It's ass. <laughs> It's kind of funny. How so? No, uh, not the poem. I mean, it's funny how your poems and Sayori's poems have been getting more and more similar to each other every day. I'm surprised you're so in sync with her. Then again, you've been spending a lot of time together lately, haven't you? Uh, I guess you could say that. Although we kind of grew up as best friends. I haven't been seeing as much of her this past year. But since I joined the club, we've been spending a lot of time together again. I see, I see. That reminds me about how Sayori's been a little bit off today. Yeah, did she tell you something? Ah, well, Richie, you haven't been flirting with her, have you? Uh, of course not. I've been treating her like I always do. All right, just making sure. Just kidding. I know how much you care about her. It would be terrible if something bad happened to her, so keep an eye on her. Sayori's been acting so much happier ever since you joined the club. What could have happened all of a sudden? Um. Well, never mind. This really isn't the time to be talking about this. Anyway, I'll share my poem with you now, all right? Looking at you, or mine? Er, all right. The lady who knows everything. An old tale tells of a tale. An old tale tells of a lady who wanders earth. The lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady who has found every answer. All meaning, all purpose, and all that was ever sought. And here I am, a feather. I lost adrift the sky, victim of the currents of the wind. Day after day, I search. I search with little hope, knowing legends don't exist. But when all else has failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend is all that remains. The last dim star glimmering in the twilight sky. Until one day the wind ceases to blow, I fall, and I fall and fall, and fall even more gentle as a feather, a dry quill expressionless, but at hand 
catches me between the thumb and forefinger. The hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her eyes and find no one, no end to our gaze. The lady who knows everything knows what I am thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which amount to nothing. There is no meaning. There is no purpose. And we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend. Your legend does not exist. And with a breath, she blows me back afloat, and I pick up a gust of wind. I think Monica likes Sayori. So, what is now?